Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth and I am back to do a very short video that talks about giving and receiving, um, talks about love and um, it's very close to my heart. It's very personal to me. It's just like a little bit of a vlog you could say um, because um, I'm going to read you guys some of my writing that I did um, and I think that there is a real need right now uh, for deeper meaning, deeper spirituality, um, especially going into this Christmas. Uh, wasn't sure if I was going to record at all, but I wanted to just vlog a little bit so you guys could could get this, see this content, um, and hopefully you'll like it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing my 2020, January 2020 horoscopes yet. I may have time to record them over my holiday time off. Um, if I don't, if you don't see them, then I haven't, I, I won't have, I don't have the time for it. So, um, but I wanted to get this out. This is super important. Um, this is kind of like my Christmas 2019 message. I wrote, the, the thing that I wrote and that I'm going to read to you guys, I wrote it kind of at this pivotal time where um, I felt that I kind of come to like a, not a breaking point, but a point where, where I was going with the given receiving process wasn't really working for me. Um, uh, last Christmas was, was not good for me. Um, I didn't feel like people really cared, uh, you know, that much about what I was doing. And it's not just in my, you know, my YouTube, it's more just in my personal life. Um, I just didn't feel like that I had the support or the love that, um, I needed and it was just a really hard Christmas. Um, in that regard. Now, so many people are going through tough stuff. So I don't want to compare um, or take that away from what they're going through, what you're going through. Um, sometimes Christmas can be just really stressful and tough. So um, what I'm about to read comes from myself. Um, I haven't shared it with anybody and hopefully you guys will like it. So I'm just going to read it to you and you guys will have to let me know what you guys think. Okay. Um, oh, and, and I will say that um, my energy had started to split apart um, because I was giving too much of myself. And this happened partly because of YouTube, but also partly because... I didn't really know how to receive back. I didn't really know how to heal myself. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the healing process in another video. And I'm also going to talk about um, some mental health stuff in another video also. So watch for those. Um, but this is what I wanted to really read you guys. So hopefully you like it. Um, okay. It's never going to be where I give away so much of myself that I start to split apart and consider my own death. It's never going to be again where I feel so worthless that I try to prove myself by giving more than I receive. Never again will I love in a kind of deficit, where I lose everything and I'm left with nothing, where I'm given nothing because that's not love. It's not even fair or right. It certainly has not been fulfilling nor lasting. In a world where nothing lasts and we all die, there has to be something worthwhile. For me, it's a balanced relationship where it's real, true, and reciprocal. The truth is everyone on this planet is lovable. Everyone is loved. And everything, too. Everyone is worthy of love, and we all are good enough. It's time for us to shift out of the deficit, out of the mindset of loss. Takers use loss against us in a kind of sick game as if they are owed something. But really, inside that taker is a person crying out to give. 
to feel the reward of being loved for themselves and not in any kind of just attention whore kind of way. Just the pureness of being loved for who they are. They are just scared that they aren't lovable, that they don't have anything to offer, and they don't know how. The givers don't think they are worthy of receiving, and the takers don't think they have anything to give. The truth is the takers deeply know there is something inside of them to offer, and always will be. They can offer themselves, their time, their love, their compassion, their kindness, and their self-knowledge. It's time to stop being so afraid. And for the givers, it's time to heal yourself, to show yourself the love, the compassion, the time and energy that you so willingly give to others, to stop giving it all away for nothing, to believe that you are worthy because it's true that you are, to stop letting others put things in your mind that you are not. It's time for everyone to give from a whole place, to choose life because life is beautiful. Sometimes pain and suffering makes us forget just how beautiful life is, just how much love there really is. And because we forget, we consider death and we stop ourselves from having the thing that is fulfilling. We lose meaning and we go around trying to find purpose. So that is what I wrote. Um, I think that at this time for Christmas 2019, I'd really like it for people to, to start to understand if, even if you can just identify whether you are a giver or a taker, if you are giving from a whole place, if you are taking and not giving in return, um, if you are allowing to receive or if you're allowing yourself to give. It's very important. All of this is super important. Um, that we understand this because if we're, we're in that place of like, uh, never, never feeling like we're good enough to receive, then we're not going to receive. And if we feel, if we're in that place of never feeling good enough, like, or that they, that you have anything to give, then you're robbing somebody else of that gift that you have. Um, so I feel like it's important to feel and to know how lovable that you are, how worthy of love that you are, and that the giving and receiving process is, is part of that love. And it's, it's super important at Christmas to remember that. Now, myself, I went out <laughs> yesterday and and shopped my brains out. But at this time, the spiritual message is a lot deeper. And uh, I hope to get into a few more vlogs in the future with you guys and, and share a little bit more um, so that you have some, some deeper insight on things. Um, and hopefully you like it. So anyways, thanks so much. Definitely give me a thumbs up and uh, I'll be back for more videos. So I send everyone big hugs. Big kisses. And I will talk to you guys again soon. All right. Take care. All the best. Bye.